Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we explore a feature in just a couple of minutes. Today we're going to learn about copying and pasting distributions and spacings. Here we see two connectors, A and B. As you can see, connector A has a non-standard distribution. In fact, I can tell you that I assigned a spacing of 1.0 to the left end of connector A. We can investigate that by hovering the mouse over the left end. And in the bottom right of the screen, you'll see con-1 1.0. That's the spacing I've assigned there. Now, what if I wanted to copy and paste the spacing from connector A to connector B? First, select the connector whose distribution you would like to change. In this case, I'm going to select connector B. Now go to the grid menu and select distribute. Click on the functions tab and towards the bottom, check the box that says copy from. We have to tell pointwise which connector to pull delta values from, and in this case we're going to have to select connector A. So go ahead and click on A. Now push the button that is labeled copy delta values. Now what we've just done is copied the spacing constraints and the function type from the source connector to the destination connector. Now push OK. You can see that they have identical distributions. Now what if I want to copy a scale distribution from connector A to a connector of maybe a different size, you know, as opposed to just copying the spacing constraints and function types from A to B? Well, ahead of time, I created another connector, connector C. Now it's shorter, it has a dimension of 10, so it's the same dimension on all three of these connectors. Let's click on connector C, and just like before, let's go to the grid menu and select distribute click on the functions tab and make sure we check the box that says copy from. Now I want to copy a scaled distribution from connector A. Next, instead of pushing the button that says copy delta values, we're going to push the button that says copy scaled distribution. And when we push OK, you can see that it copied a scaled distribution of the points that we saw on connector A. One last feature is the reverse option. So I still have connector C selected. I'm going to go up to grid distribute functions and there's a button here called reverse. Now notice when I push reverse it swaps the distribution and when I push OK you can see that the distribution is indeed swapped. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant Tuesday.